What's up everyone and welcome back to the happiest hour on earth. Tonight we have a very special episode. We are having Cuckoo Culture on our show. We connected a while back and uh, mm -hmm. ever since then we became really, really good friends. He has an amazing YouTube channel and he also has an Instagram too where he posts amazing content. Definitely go check him out because his videos just make me feel just hype you yeah they hype you <laughs> they make you just feel like you're at the parks and that's a great thing because we're in disneyland we don't get to go to walt disney world often and so being able to like connect with that amazing park through his videos has just been like the best joy we're going to be calling him up shortly and we cannot wait to talk to him we're going to be talking to him about his channel how he started what it's like living in a Disney made town because he lives in Celebration, Florida. And so we're going to learn a lot of things tonight. So excited to have him on. But before we get there, we made a Walt Disney World drink because we we're having a Walt Disney World uh, resident pretty much. He lives yeah, pretty much literally. in Disney <laughs> on the show. So this is the Conjurita from the Abracadabra Bar at the Boardwalk in Walt Disney World. And so this drink is always just caught my eye because mm -hmm. it changes colors it's a magical cocktail and we actually had the magical ingredient from last week's episode so yeah. we're like we have to make it it was for yeah we, we had to we, we have so much of that tea just butterfly pea counter. flower we're tea like, well we're gonna make the tangerita <laughs> yeah it's really fun it comes out blue and then you put in the secret ingredient which you could see in our reel and then it changes to this nice light beautiful purple. Lavender, or I don't know. I don't know. Kind it's, of fuchsia. Purple. Yeah. <laughs> I heard someone say fuchsia. Should we try this Let's thing? Let's try See it. How it is? I'm very curious. All right. Cheers. cheers. Whoa. Mm. Strong. Yeah. Heavy on the uh, the ingredient, the secret ingredient. <laughs> oh, wait, uh, the butterfly pea flower no i meant the one that oh that that secret the, secret ingredient the change of color yeah yeah it's we might really as well let you guys know the secret it's it's lime juice mm -hmm. with the butterfly pea tea um yeah. when it citrus is added in it changes colors and it's so amazing. cool it's the um, funnest thing to watch so yeah this yeah this i think ours probably tastes a little bit different because mm -hmm. yours has more of the tea I'm do you want to just do a little actually. switch i'm so curious mine's very limey oh man that is very different. Hey, you Yours that is one. much more I like tequila. Lime. Well, no, I like you, the lime you, too. Yeah. I'm like, I'm actually not the hugest tequila person. So that's why I don't, I don't think either of us truly is. That's why we don't yeah. usually make tequila drinks on here. But, but we, we had to do this one and it's actually really good. Yeah, it is really I good. I like it. It's like a, I'm a fan. good, good balance of flavors, I would say. Yeah, I love it. So really with good. that, I'm ready to call... Cuckoo culture up. Let's do it. Let's, Let's call Let's do him. it. Lorenzo, how's it going, man? Hello. Chris, Emily, what is up, guys? I'm so happy to be here. It's been definitely a long time coming. Yes. Yeah. Oh my I'm so gosh. stoked that you're finally on the show. We've been we, we've been planning this for a bit. Yeah, we've been talking about this for a while and like life gets busy right around summer, but I just remember the first time connecting and like, I think we connected on, on Instagram first and then we, you know, shared our YouTube links and man, when I saw your channel for the first time, I was like, I feel connected to Walt Disney World, <laughs> which we have been missing ever since 2018. 18. And so, oh, wow. and then wow. your, your, your energy is just so fun to watch. And so ever since we talked wow. and we we're like, dude, we need to get you on the show and you've just been so supportive of our channel, which we're so appreciative yes. uh, about. And oh, then course. we're like, man, we got to get we got to get cuckoo culture on here. And yeah. so I'm so glad it's finally here. Finally. No, definitely. Chris, I, I'm honestly I'm so glad to have uh, been able to come on the show tonight. Honestly, it's been um, it's been something I've been wanting to do, honestly. And it gets tough because like said, life happens. But um no, your guys' energy, I think it matches exactly honestly with mine. I feel it through your guys' podcast, the YouTube. Um, the comments are genuine. I will, I love watching your guys' videos. I'm going to continue, obviously, to keep watching them. Um, <laughs> and, yeah, no, honestly, I really have been looking forward to coming on the show. I've honestly been kind of a little giddy. I've been like, oh, my God, can we going to be on their show? It's, ha it's finally happening. It's here. <laughs> yeah. It really has been kind of a long time in the making. And I can't really remember if it was that we connected through Instagram or if it was through YouTube. 
Yeah. Um, but yeah. I just remember immediately having that connection, like, oh, we're bro now here. You know, it was just like so <laughs> natural. And I was like, well, I could really see me like hanging out with these guys aside yeah. from, you know, obviously going to the parks and things, having that in common. But yeah, totally. other than that, thank you guys. I'm glad to be here tonight. Oh, it's going to be fun. Real. Yeah. And thank wait. you for, yeah. you know, Ooh, yeah. Starting so late, uh, obviously, you're a couple hours ahead of us. <laughs> so, no, yeah, I, I'm over here on the East Coast. And that, no, it's okay. It's all right. I definitely <laughs> been planning. I've been getting myself ready. You know, like I'm getting up. Do you see the gray hairs in the beard? So, you know, I'm usually <laughs> in bed by nine. But for you guys, you know, I'll make an exception. I'll oh, make yeah. An exception. <laughs> you have this weird <laughs> thing where, yeah, we have a baby. You have some kids too. We have a baby. So, it's like this bedtime routine we have to do then you're on the east coast you're three hours ahead and then it's a it's a tuesday night it's crazy but yeah. we're uh we're gonna pretend like Party it's the night. weekend here because we got cuckoo culture on yeah. we're just, you know we're living you know life That's it's okay. almost midnight for you oh man you're, yeah. you're amazing for staying up for us Thanks. taco tuesday slash hump day there you go we yeah right yeah. exactly All in line. Yes. Yes. Love it. Okay, so for any of our listeners who are watching right now, can you just tell them a little bit about yourself and your channel and what you do? Uh, yeah, so um, the name of the channel is Cuckoo Culture. It's funny, you know, the name of the channel originally, you guys are the first I've ever actually told this to. I've been on a couple live streams, so I'm dropping a little bit of Cuckoo Culture with this. Yes. It was actually going to be called Super Duper Magical. Ooh, and oh, um i nice. had it like that i even had the logo done everything i was like okay i'm gonna go with super duper magical <laughs> and that. um i just i don't know what it was and honestly the logo stayed the same you know i had the gauntlet on and everything i love that. and or actually around the time when i started my youtube is around the time like when infinity war the hype that was building up oh, so i just really wanted something to represent the gauntlet you know and i was like <laughs> my, my logo somehow and yes. uh it was super duper magical and then it just hit me i said i don't like this no i don't and I said, it's just too much. And I need it to be something. Cause also too, like I do plan to go into like places like Universal Studios or, you know, Gatorland or exploring other places yeah. right now. Yes. It's very Disney to out. I, I go there naturally. I'm an annual pass holder. So it's very, it's effortless for me to be honest with you. I live about seven minutes away. Um, so I go to Disney World a lot and I just film what I can, but, um, the whole meaning, I guess, behind cuckoo culture is kind of like, you know, get your daily dose of the parks. You know, it, it's, you know, I, I, people always tell me, oh, you're crazy. You go there too much. So I just figure <laughs> I'm cuckoo and add that in with the cuckoo clock. And it's your daily dose of, you know, Disney park fun, you know, a little vlog style. Um, I try to incorporate my music in there um, and have I have fun with that. And uh, I try not to overdo it with the B-roll, <laughs> but I, I definitely try to bring you guys along. And I try to bring that magic because I, I know that feeling of, not being able to go to the park. And, um, you know, I, well, I'm from Washington State, and I remember I would watch people to get me amped up for my vacation. All I would yeah. want to do is watch Disney, 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 you know, to get me ready for my vacay. And I, I always thought how fun would that be to be able to provide that joy for someone else. Yeah, that's, awesome. that's the great thing about your channel, too, is that, like, you have that you have that vlog, you know, you're talking, you're bringing us through your, like, day at the park. And then, like you said, the B-roll of just beautiful sights at mm -hmm. Walt Disney World just really puts me in to yeah, the parks um, like because we've been missing it so much. And mm -hmm. and I love that. I mean, it just really, like you said, gets you amped to go. Not that we have a Walt Disney World trip planned, although next time uh, we do have one planned, we're hitting you up because we got to <laughs> hang out. Yes. Um, we but, have to. Yeah. We have to. We no, you guys are coming over. We're hanging out for sure. I'm Definitely. even more excited. I'll be disappointed. Yeah, I, I'm more <laughs> excited to hang out with you than – even the parks. I'm like, I got to meet Cuckoo Culture. Oh, yeah. whoa. Okay. Yeah, no. I, know. I mean, and, and the parks. Like, we'll have to do some rides together, mm -hmm. but just doing it alongside oh, for sure. the amazing Cuckoo Culture. Oh, yeah. For sure. So good. We're talking about it. That means it'll become a reality, just like we did the exactly. show tonight. So, yeah. you know, it's, it's got a plan. It'll become a reality for sure. Yeah. 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 Speaking no, of it'll be a lot of fun into reality, uh, you know, and amazing things that you get to do. You just got to experience something pretty special at the Magic Kingdom the other day. You let us know, I think, earlier this week, and I was like, oh, my oh, gosh, yeah. you got to be there. So you were able to be in the parks during the filming of the Disney Plus Christmas special. What was what was that like? What yes. were the highlights? Like, that's amazing. Oh, my gosh. I look forward to those oh every gosh. year. Yeah. yeah, so good. Goosebumps. Oh, my gosh, goosebumps. And I'm not just saying that because, you know, it sounds, such, it sounds like a generic answer, but it says, oh, my gosh, that atmosphere was – it was everybody that was there. You could see it in the faces. Like this is something special, you know. It's just you know it's different. And the funny thing is, I went there 
for this here. I just went to pick this up. The new, the new popcorn bucket. Yes, and I was like, bucket. oh my gosh. My wife, you know, and my wife honestly is the one who really is like, you know, she's up to date. Like, Did you see this? Gotta go, you know, time date. She organizes my stuff. Yes. And I said, okay, great. And so, um, but she, I guess, knew about this event. And I guess it was more or less, I don't want to say like a surprise because I, I am into hip hop. And um, there's certain artists that, you know, that I, she knows my style. She knows my taste. And so she was hearing about this potential going on and we had reservations and I was walking and uh, we just left the, um, the Grand Floridian and we looked at the gingerbread house and I was already vlogging and I said, okay, you know, we're going to go over to Disney real quick, pick up the bucket and then we're going to go to the contemporary. I already had my plan laid out and I'm in there and I see these really tall green forklifts and those stage and I'm like, like, whoa, what is going oh, on? I was like, this, I was like, they're not, this looks like, and I was like looking at my wife and I was like, they, they couldn't be filming the Christmas special right now. Could they, that would be more towards the, cause I don't, you know, I, I've, yeah. I've always kind of figured, I guess I'm not realistic, but I'm thinking it's like, you know how they filmed the Super Bowl, but they edit it live and everything. And yeah. mm -hmm. when they say it's live, I'm thinking, oh, this is happening on Thanksgiving day. Yeah. Um, but no, they were filming the Thanksgiving and Christmas day all in one that oh night. Wow. And we walked right up, right up to the rope. And I had front row where the rope is, where they were letting entry in. Cause to get up in front of the stage, it was for the cast members. And so they had to show a brace that they had to have their hand up so that they could see and kind of point as they're going in and security was was yeah it was tight for sure wow. and i was yeah. literally right there the lady and the cast member they were like oh i like your beard you know they were having a beard is a great conversation piece by the way oh, you away like and just, you're uh, getting on stage around. backstage a good yeah. beard. take me around with you guys and i'll just go like this it's a conversation piece and then just like oh yeah can we get in there no i just <laughs> they're like i trust you really have nice. an awesome beard <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> it's so i was it, well you know it takes you know patience to have to grow a beard so yeah <laughs> and then so we were we were standing right on the side and they made like, like space right there for us. You know, we're just right off to the left and the audience was like all off to the left right there. And I kid you not, the castle is just bam, right smack dab right here. And I don't know who's coming to the stage. I don't even know, honestly. I'm like, okay, cool. They didn't release and it like, earlier. You're just, no, I had oh, no man. idea. Wow. And all of a sudden like, guys, run DMC's coming to the stage and they're just like oh, coming out gosh. and they're performing Chris. I was just like, goose. I was like, what is happening? Run DMC's on the stage in front of, oh, in front of the oh castle at Magic gosh. Kingdom. I was like, oh my God. And this I just thought, <laughs> yeah. And I just thought it was so really kind of, I'm like, Run DMC, Clark. I was like, wow, it doesn't seem like something Disney would do in my opinion. You know, I yeah. thought in my head, I was like, great pool. You know, in my head, I'm like, you know, I'm a, kind of like a sneakerhead in certain, you know, you see certain sneakers and you point them out, right? You're like, oh, he knows his sneakers. In my, in my opinion as well, that's the same thing with music. And that means somebody's in a position where like, no, this artist would be great. Yeah. And they, they lined up quite a lineup because after that, Black Eyed Peas came out <laughs> And it oh just I'm like, oh my god, Black Eyed Peas is performing. And they performed a song that's not out. It comes out on, um, it dropped Christmas Day, oh and um, it's a very catchy song. I filmed the entire thing, and I showed my daughters. I showed some friends. I got some pins because I'm I'm hesitant. I don't know if I should put it out to be honest with you because I was gonna. They ask do that. make you like, sign disclaimers. There... Oh, yeah. disclaimers. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, they make you sign disclaimers, um, but I didn't go into that part to sign a disclaimer, and I I did run a test on it. You know, I put it on YouTube. I didn't I didn't drop it, yeah. but I, I I rendered it, and I wanted to see if it would pull up on a flag, and it didn't. And I thought, oh my god, I could. Whoa. And I don't want to do anything. Honestly, I'm not. I just want it to be. I think it's cool to share with everybody because yeah, the view yeah. was beautiful, and the snow was hitting them, and the oh, castle, man. the view, it's just oh, there. Man. And it was absolutely stunning. I don't want to keep going on about it, but it was no, really, that's really something. That's what a cool incredible. experience. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. And were, and, so were you there for oh the filming gosh. of Thanksgiving and Christmas? Like, were they like, yeah, okay, that's the end I, of Thanksgiving, yes. and now it's time for Christmas? <laughs> kind of. Yeah, they they had a coordinator there that would come out, actually. Wow. And um, they, they, have, they showed all the cameras. They have a camera. It's called a giraffe camera, and that shoots up on the right, oh, and that yeah. gets like kind of like certain B-roll of the audience. You know that shot where the, you see the audience, like, boom, oh, yeah, and they kind good. of pan out, and you can see. Yeah, and then they have the camera on the tracks. You know, like they sit on it, and they're just kind of rolling around for that side profile for the B-roll. 
Yeah. And then they have people, you see them on the stage and they have a person guiding right behind the person that's filming. So you'd have somebody filming and they'd have a person behind them and that person would have a vest on and they'd be holding the vest so they don't fall off the stage and making sure that they're filming wow. so that they're getting that shot of, you know, the performers are like, you know, doing their thing. And um, it was so crazy to see that um, because the only other time I seen something with that atmosphere is I went to Universal Studios and I saw John Goodman in a show live. Oh, and it was man. a television audience. It was a live thing. And those those environments are so odd because now you're seeing a concert, you're watching them film a TV yeah. special. So to see them coordinate the audience and stuff. And, and it was it was fun though. Nobody by no means to see them performing the same song seven times. You're you're not gonna complain to watch a run DMC perform um a uh, Merry <laughs> Christmas time <laughs> six that's times. Awesome. You're gonna be like, again, you know. <laughs> yeah. um, so that's that's so interesting because like as you are watching, you know, you just feel like it's the seamless thing. But did they do multiple takes, catch the energy, kind of, you know, try to get the audience a little more engaged and like it'll be the oh, same yeah. song. They'll perform and mm -hmm. get different takes and all that stuff. That's crazy. Yeah. And that's the thing, too, is like it's you know, the artists, you'll hear them sometimes. Um, they'll, they'll stop and go, OK, no, that ain't happening. And you're just oh, like, oh, you know, and they're just well, like. You know, and um, Will I Am for one of his new songs from Black Eyed Peas, actually a new song that's coming out again Christmas Day. He was even saying his his words. He doesn't even have it memorized yet. He's like this. Mm. And then um, the coordinator said, "Do you have a music video or anything shot for this?" He's like, "Actually, this is the music video. You guys are all going to oh, be in it." And everybody was like, "What?" So then Whoa. the guy was like, "So not only guys going to be in a Disney Plus special, and um, the it's going to so it's going to air on Disney Plus." hulu and abc they mentioned that like Man. every 30 minutes and you guys remember where can bundle. you see this and the crowd will go disney plus hulu and abc and they're like right <laughs> there you go okay oh my and gosh. Um, it was just it, it was so fun to see um i was looking at some of my notes here but the other artist was becky g and oh, then nice. um neo they came out and neo came out first and he did a solo then he went back and they brought a piano on the stage and a lot of artists have, have played on this piano, like tons. Of, it's, it oh, was wow. like famous. I can't even remember, honestly, the artists. It was, there, it was a lot to take in, honestly. Mm -hmm. And so Neo left, came back and everybody waited for Becky G. And then, then I heard rumors that Justin Bieber and Backstreet Boys were there, but I bounced. I was oh, like, I'm oh. going, I got work in the <laughs> Oh my God. Oh, yeah. Wait, how, um, what, what time was this? Was this pretty late at night? I mean, oh my gosh. Well, the funny thing is the park closes at 11, right? Yeah. But I think, I don't know. They weren't like, it was, I'm like, it's like 11, 10. I look at my wife, she's like, they're not kicking us out. And then they're like, going I kind of want to kick us so out. Just kept going. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Do you, yeah, did you so hear they from kept, anyone else in yeah. the area? If, like Justin Bieber and Backstreet Boys. I actually show? heard that from a cast member because I got, you know, oh, like I said, I'm a beard member. The cast member, uh, we started talking and um, he was just like, he's like, oh, your family's, you know, the, you guys are so good. I was like, oh yeah. He's like, you yeah, know, I heard that, uh, you know, Justin Bieber somewhere back there. Also, the Backstreet Boys, and he was an older guy, you know. And he was like, "You know what I'm saying, Sonny?" And I was like, "Oh, okay, okay." He's like, "Don't say you heard it from me, though, you know." And I was like, "Okay, oh, okay." Man. He's like, "But they're here." <laughs> I was like, oh, "All right." He actually said, "Yeah." He said, uh, "Becky G's back there somewhere," and my daughter's like, "Becky G's here!" Oh my gosh! And I didn't even notice. I'm not even gonna lie. I, please don't hate me, anybody who's a Becky G fan. But I did it. No, I'm older, and I was just like, <laughs> and then my wife's like, "You don't know who Becky G is?" Um, and then sure enough, she came on the stage, and I was like, "Justin Bieber's probably there back she, there." She's probably oh yeah. I mean, that gosh. that guy knew what was up. Yeah, you know what he yeah. yeah, he, he to, did. I need to be a little more patient. Grow the beard out and see yeah, if I get, get some insider information. I'm, yeah. I'm telling you, man. You know, you come down. We could be beard brothers. <laughs> yeah oh okay i'm not gonna shave until i go to disney world and then we'll and then yeah we'll, uh, yeah grow I'm, gonna, I'm, right. time. <laughs> I'm gonna be able to tell in your video so oh that's, yeah. yeah that's gonna keep <laughs> i'm like he looks like he shaved since last time i saw uh -oh. him <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um but all this so talk about like the you were talking about like the filming angles and what it took to like do a production i mean like all these things that you don't see behind the scenes and your videos just watching your youtube like you know like you can tell that you know what you're doing with the camera and so i was just curious like you have such a fun and entertaining style 
did you have experience with filming and editing before you started cuckoo culture? Cause like you, it just, from the beginning, yeah. I was like, man, like, this guy knows what <laughs> he's doing. <laughs> like, but. I appreciate it. Yeah, no, I, um, I've always loved film. Um, and it started honestly with skateboarding me and my brother mm-hmm. and my best friends. And we skateboarded when it really was kind of like taking off, you know, like street skating was popular when I started. And so I remember watching, I don't know if you're familiar with them, but they'd be like city stars was out and um girl skateboards of course was still there so you had like eric costin we were like they were really taken off from watching paul rodriguez and we were like oh man we were from washington state so our weather sucked you know it just rained all the time <laughs> and so when it was sunny we took an advantage and we wanted we didn't want it to end you know you know how yeah. you plan your disney trips you watch videos that's how it was for us when I was skating. We want to watch us it's like okay when it gets when springtime gets here i'm gonna i'm gonna have tray flip like this down bottom bank, you know? Oh, and um, so I started, we started filming and it's funny. It, it all started. I went to California adventure and it was for the grand oh. opening. And we stayed at the grand um, California hotel. Oh. We had a view, the theme park and everything. And um, this was like the trip that, you know, my grandma just, you know, she went all out. And I remember we went to the Lego store and it just opened and they had this Steven Spielberg editing set. Like you, it, it came with the T-Rex and the, the car and it taught you how to do stop go motion. It came with a little camera. And I learned how to do stop motion just from that little Lego set. It was like three ninety nine dollars when my grandma got it for me. Oh my gosh. And I, I plugged it in my computer at home and then I thought, oh my gosh, I could do intros and stuff. So then I started drawing my own stuff and flipping through and making my own animation. And then I was like, oh my God, I could add my music. So I just kind of kept oh, so like cool. getting on. And so then when I'd want gifts or something, like, can you give me this microphone or can, can I get this camera, you know? And it just kind of oh, kept gosh. building from there. Um, and I just always have been in love with filming. Not even, I didn't even realize I was vlogging at the time because I just love to film so much and edit so much. Yeah. I didn't know that there was even this industry. Um, and I know there's a lot of popular YouTubers, but the person that taught me that there was anything to, to report on Disney was actually uh, Inside the Magic by Ricky Briganti. Oh. I don't know if you ever heard yeah, of yeah. those guys. Oh, they've been but around for so I, long. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that was where I got introduced to um, It's Okay to Like Disney and Be a Nerd. Like, they, like he, like <laughs> I remember he did a show and I'd watch him at his little studio and I'd see his Kermit the Frog off to the side and just <laughs> saw Disney clutter everywhere. And I just thought, oh my God, that guy's living my dream right there. Like, oh. <laughs> yeah. So... You know, I always thought it would be so cool to take my talents for like what I can do for fun, like just to do fun and bring that passion to an audience. And I really don't know where it's going to take me. I'm genuinely doing it because I'm having fun with it. Mm-hmm. Um, but it really, it really just all originated from having fun and skateboarding with my brothers and my best friends. And uh, we, awesome. and then when you do music too, when you land your tricks, we'd always try to pick out a track to where you land the trick right on point with the beat. Oh yeah. So then I learned how to time the beat and look there. And a lot of my friends were, they made music. A lot of them, you know, we'd go to the studio and so I'd watch them and how they make music. So I just really picked out a lot of stuff and implemented it into what I like to do. A lot of my friends are DJs. So I know how to pick up on certain things or what'll work. And so I flip through music oh, just as much as I do YouTube. Some days I'll have a day where I'm listening to music for like four or five hours. Oh, man, and I'll literally awesome. cut tracks like, no, yes, no. But then I have a list where I'll go through that list again. I'm like, no. And then <laughs> it just, it's really also like producing your own stuff. Um, yeah. But I just, uh, yeah, I have a lot of fun with it. Um, so when you guys mention the music and stuff, it really does mean a lot because I, put, I do put time into it. Um, so you- it means a lot that you guys are enjoying it. You can tell that so passion good. is there, and and it when you're watching those videos, oh man! And like you said, the music you curate the music so well that I just feel like it's it's fun and entertaining music, but then it also still fits within that like Disney magic. Like it mm-hmm. still has this like ni- nice tone that just kind of like puts you into the park. And so, yeah, man, it, well it's, it's so great to see that. That's awesome. I w- I love hearing that. Thank you so much. You know, and you know, I I really. Um, talk to a whole lot of people about it, you know, because again, doing the whole vlog, it's kind of nice to do it because my family's in Washington. So it's really a way so that they can, like my mom and my grandma can mm. watch the videos and see how they're, you know, get a glimpse. And I don't really like, it's not really a family vlog. It is more for me, but you know, I include my daughters here and there. Yeah. Um, and it's not that it's like a privacy thing or anything like that. It's just like, it is, you know, it's me, but 
you know, they see them and they know like, oh, there it goes, you know, and they see their granddaughters. And then same thing with my brother mm-hmm. and then my brother-in-law and all my friends and stuff. Um, it just gives them a really good chance to see like, oh man, Lorenzo's out there doing it. Because where I was before, I, I worked for a, a retailer. Um, it was a designer. Well, it was Nordstrom. I was there for 10 years. And people would always laugh, like, you need to be involved with Disney somehow. Or, you know, I was always known <laughs> as a Star Wars guy. And yeah. it was just kind of funny how it just kind of, it all worked out to where finally I ended up moving to Florida. And now I am doing the blog. But it, it's, it's, it's still weird to me. I don't feel like I'm here. I just feel like I'm on an extended vacation. <laughs> <laughs> that's, awesome. that's amazing I'm very <laughs> jealous <laughs> um but kind of going back in time a little bit uh you used to live in, on the west coast back in the day um before you yes. moved to florida so disneyland was your park at the time but when was your first trip to disney world and uh was going to the parks kind of a big influence for you moving to florida or like kind of what was the the reason behind that yeah so uh, the very first time i went to disney world was actually when i just moved here i never had wow. been i uh, i i only went to disneyland so i really didn't even i didn't even i didn't know what the weather was like i heard like oh it's hot and <laughs> humid you're gonna hate it there's gators there's hurricanes good luck to you <laughs> and i was like well i want to try it uh, and i i'm the crazy guy that moved here because galaxy's edge i'll say it um oh, wow. they announced they announced galaxy's edge and I remember being at work and I was like, oh my God, they did not do it. And so when they made the announcement, I said, I got to figure out if I'm going moving to California or Florida. <laughs> it was literally between the two, honestly, um, because uh, my wife was in a position where, you know, she could work from her work and go with her. And so I, and with my, you know, my background, I'm able to find something as well. And I thought, oh my gosh. So I just planned it out and I, we made it here right in time for the opening of Galaxy's Edge. <laughs> Wow. And um, we didn't, it wasn't our first day going. We went before the first ride we ever went on was Snow White and the Seven Doors Mine Train at Disney World. Oh, and we went to Magic yeah, Kingdom. Nice. But we we definitely panned it out for I was here for Galaxy's Edge, like the grant, like, you know, for being here for the opening. And we went on the opening of Rise of the Resistance. Um, it was a little bit before, they didn't open that at first. It was just the, the Falcon. Um, but that I had to do it because I just, Oh my gosh! Don't get me started on Star Wars. Oh, I, I, but... we'll, we'll have to have you back on another uh, Star yeah. Wars episode. Maybe after Mando three comes out, we'll be, yeah. uh, we'll be oh, chatting. Oh man! <laughs> uh, don't even get me started. <laughs> so during oh, the time but, of your move yeah. over to Florida, uh, did you already kind of have an interest in becoming a content creator, or is that something that happened later, like after you'd lived there for a bit? It's weird. You know, it's really weird because, like, I always knew that I was going to do be a content creator. I just really kind of uh, – I have a cousin that's a – he's a pretty fairly successful – um has a success, pretty fair, uh, successful YouTube channel. And I remember talking to him just being like, he'd be like, so what are you going to do? What is it going to be? And I was like, I, I don't know. <laughs> I was just like, I don't want to – I want it to be, you know, me, but I don't know how to be – you know, I don't know what to do. And um, I was really hesitant, honestly, about filming going to the parks because – for instance, like this, here's one of my setups, one of my cameras. I, this right here was as very um, overwhelming going in public <laughs> because <laughs> you don't think about that when you go vlogging, you know, and even at the parks, you know, people are like, oh, everybody does it now. I, I don't care who it is, man. When you go out and you're just like this, you know, and everybody's like, there goes a YouTuber, you know, and it's like, you know, it's, get I really to don't want that attention. I don't. Um, that is the only thing that is tough because I'm, um, and you know, people will come up to you and stuff like, oh, you have YouTube, you know, and it's nice. I gain That's subscribers awesome. that way sometimes, That's but cool. um, it's, uh, oh my gosh, they don't prepare you for that, you know? I'm like, oh my gosh, vlogging well, <laughs> in public. But my my family makes it easier for me. They joke with me and stuff. And uh, that's cool. My wife, you know, she's a little more introverted. So it's funny because um, when people like I got to engage with me and stuff, I get like really into it. She just walks away like, oh my god, <laughs> that's so good. <laughs> you know, we, we have the easy one. We are uh, just me and me and Emily here sitting at our dining room table so yeah. we're, we're in the comfort yeah. of our home but it's you know what easy. your confidence shows though in those videos like yeah I if you it. are nervous like you fake it very well because yeah. uh it Nobody just goes know. over so well oh <laughs> uh, you just you you truly have to just drop the 
you know, you just have to have fun. And and if I wasn't yeah. having fun, I don't think I could keep this up, honestly, because um, it, it does take work um, and it does take mm-hmm. dedication. Well, I guess not dedication. It depends on what you set your goals to. But um, it's just one of those things where, you know, I get exhausted. Like I'm like editing and I'm looking and I rewatch my videos a good like five, six times. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, and by the time I'm done with an episode, it's like, and the funny thing is like, there's no, some videos I have put out. It's amazing. Like some of them, like some of the shorts I put out, have got like 25,000 views and I'm like, Whoa, Damn. Holy smokes. And then some videos get like 50 views. I'm like, okay. You know, it's just, it's Weird. really yeah. hit or miss, but they're all my little babies. You know, I, I have uh, so much joy making each every, and every one of them. Um, and that's what's fun about the videos too, is it builds a library of a catalog. So I'm more of a quality yeah. versus quantity kind of uh, channel. I just really try to, um if it's not really i feel like it's not gonna meet up to what i can do like if i'm not excited about it i can't do it you know i can't go out and film if i'm not enjoying what i'm filming has to has to feel good yeah and that's the interesting thing that you brought up too is that um we live in a world where i mean you as a vlogger you have that long form content and us as a podcast like we have like extra long form content, yeah. but uh, the culture that we live in today really in order to attract has to do those like short reels or like short, um, short yeah. shorts, right? YouTube shorts <laughs> um, to kind of, to kind of bring yeah. that in. And so it's interesting kind of finding that balance of, um, you know, your regular vlogs or your regular podcast episodes, but then also bringing it down a little bit and and creating content content with these like 10 second videos or something. And, um, what was your, what was your first, I know that the bounty hunting has like done so well for you. Was that one of your first shorts that you did? And then it was like, Oh man, I gotta Um, make some more shorts, you know? I, I'll be honest. I I actually, I hired a manager just for a month because I I just wanted to just kind of get an idea of, um, like I, just to know the right directions um because mm, yeah. i do want to i don't know where i want to go with youtube but i do know it'd be nice i mean i'm not going to complain if five years six years down the road i can quit my job and do it full time yeah, um yeah. I, awesome. and i kind of like aim it for a time frame realistic like i could say like four years five years, but you never know you can't you have to really enjoy what you're doing because if you bank on anything um then i don't think success comes that way i really think it has to just happen it's all on timing yeah um it's it's weird. I hired a manager and he just kind of uh, did a, an overview of my channel. He's like, you know, you have a, a image, you know, logo. I love what you're doing. I get it. You're branding yourself, beard and everything. And um, <laughs> he said, honestly, though, why aren't you doing shorts? And I was like, I don't want to do shorts. I don't like the way they look. I don't like the way they make the, the channel look. I don't want to do them. I was like, and I don't even know how to get excited about a short. Um, and he's like, okay. You know, and he just was like, I wouldn't budge on doing shorts. And I was sitting at like, I don't know, 600 something subscribers, I think. Um, And then, so finally he was just like, you can make sure it's funny. He was showing me other people that did some fun ones. I was like, okay, that's cool. You know? So then I tried the the bounty one um, because I did a couple other ones. I was like, well, okay, I want to try something. That'd be fine. I was really honestly excited about doing that one. So it was really kind of of effortless. And I, 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 in, I was able to add some little Star Wars music in the background and really try to, I wanted to bring in the idea of what it could potentially be, how this could grow into so much more. So I wanted to provide that for people to see like, whoa. And that's what it did. If you see in the comments, be like, what is this? Where is this at? I want to yeah. do it. And that's what I wanted to create. And um, it's almost honestly free advertising. Cause I didn't even see people talking about the bounty hunter thing that much yeah. um, for Disney. And I was, I feel like I was creating hype and buzz for that. And it was kind of fun to be a part of that. Cause all those videos, um, if I put one up, it almost seems like it's going to do okay. Dude. But, um, that's awesome. They're just fun to do though. You have to have fun with them. But I, yeah. I did those and he taught me how to, cause then I'm like, well, how do you post them? Like, how do you do them? How do you supposed to yeah. <laughs> and he showed me how to break them all down? And, and, you know, it's just, there's so much into it. Um, so I started doing shorts about having fun. I try to organize my page, but I'll be honest. I, I, it, it, they're fun to do, but I, I, my passion obviously is blogging. Um, yeah. And, yeah. and truly bringing it for an extra. You can't do a short limits you. You're 60 seconds. That's as far as yeah. you can go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so Very limiting. <laughs> I did that Mr. Toad facts one and I was just like, okay, we're done. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <I'm trying> to- <laughs> like, it's very interesting. Cause like, like our thing is the podcast, but a lot of, um, 
we get a lot of like visibility on our page from just like making shorts and sometimes on instagram i feel like it's even shorter like it's yeah. 15 seconds or lower or else it like won't even get traction so it's like now it's you're creating the episodes and then you're also trying to create something short and sweet and it's it really hard but it possible. is but it's almost like a supplemental thing in order to get people to your page and um and i saw when that first like bounty hunting video of yours just like it's crazy how quick it one little thing can just really bring yeah. so much visibility to your page and you do such a great job at that and so um the bounty hunting videos along with obviously your amazing vlogs are just so fun to watch and and i just had to ask that because you know that. We uh, we got on that subject, but I'm curious, as we're talking about like moving to Orlando, you said your first trip to Disney World was when you moved there, which is which is crazy. But you were living in Orlando, but recently, mm -hmm. I think within the past couple of months, um, made the move to the Disney made town of Celebration, Florida. Yeah. <laughs> what inspired you to move to Celebration? And then can you also tell our listeners a little bit more about the history of the of the town um i'm yeah, sure since you're kind of yeah. involved in it you know a little bit more than we might <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah it it's i tell you what it's different um it's it's, <laughs> it's a lot of fun it's very charming you know um like when whenever we have to leave celebration we have become a little bougie we're like oh my gosh we have to leave you know <laughs> we have to leave celebration and it sounds so bad but it, it's mm -hmm. just everything the way the grass is manicured you literally feel like yeah you you feel like you live on main street everything is um even the 7-eleven that's close by it's themed it looks like we're at hollywood studios oh, um and they just slap gosh. a 7-eleven on there it's it's really weird and <laughs> It, where I'm at on my strip, I feel like I live on Hollywood Boulevard because the palm trees are aligned like perfectly. Oh and then God. you have like this really weird assortment of different style houses. And they're just, they go from like modern, but it's Disney. You know, you know how Disney does that. Like the contemporary, yeah. those kind of things. They have those touches and they, they don't miss a beat. If they need, if they have to, if there needs to be updates, they will be done. Their are the expectations wow. are so high over here. Um, there was even, I remember there was rumors recently they were petitioning. They wanted to put a gate, um, to prevent people from coming in, um, because it is getting like, we did trick or treating just where we are and we live in the neighborhood and we, we, it took us just to drive from like, to get to where we park like 45 minutes because there oh was a, God. it was like lined up from the freeway to come trick or treating in our neighborhood because oh my gosh. Pe people go all out. It's like, it's like trick or treating on main street, the way that. And some of these people, I got to think, are maybe even Imagineers because you see animatronics in some people's front yard. Oh You'll just see God. stuff that Whoa. you just don't see all the time, you know. And so, like, for instance, um, Christmas is coming up. And I just recently bought um, my wife and daughter. They, I got them two brand new bikes. And I have a bike and a trailer and whatnot. And I want to start vlogging when the Christmas lights come up. And um, just vlog through, ride my bike through celebration, let people see what it looks like with my dogs That's and the nice. family. Um, because when I went through, I didn't even, my wife was the one like, we have to go through those neighborhoods. I was like, okay, okay, let's, let's go. You know? And I was like, whoa, okay. It, it blew my mind. Um, there, there was one house that was like, it was stranger things themed and they had oh. the, uh, I think it was 11, just like floating from the tree. I was oh. like, what? <laughs> wow. Yeah. It, yeah. So, and I'm probably, I'm not going into much into the history. I, um, but yeah, there's a lot of history. So uh, Disney did own the town. They don't own the town now. Um, it got bought out um, a while back because, well, it's, I think Disney, they, I think they got a little over their heads. The whole design, you know, Epcot is honestly a big inspiration for Celebration. Walt Disney mm -hmm. originally created Epcot because he wanted that to be like, you know, a place for people, uh, 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 an environment to where everybody works together, contributes to the same cause, you know, going green, all of that. Um, hybrids. Walt Disney was always thinking ahead of his time. Yeah. Um, and that's kind of the inspiration for celebration, but there was so many issues when the town first happened. I mean, mm. I remember like houses sinking in really bad because the, oh, the yeah. um, land didn't settle correctly. Um, there was also a lot of like issues with the toilets and the plumbing and some people went without, um, I think water and things like that. I don't have it all, like it's oh, in my man. head. I know this, but there was no. it was a big debacle and then also you got to think of running the town with police force and also emergencies mm. 
things like that. Uh, so I think Disney was like, whoa, hold on a second. <laughs> this yeah. is a lot. <laughs> but oh uh, it definitely still is like it's a you can it's Disney. If that makes sense, it's just not owned by, but you can tell like they're shaking hands. They're definitely partners for sure. Things are aligned. Um, the power tower over by our place is in the shape of Mickey's head. If that's telling you anything. So, oh wow. my gosh. That's and awesome. it's, that it's huge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, awesome. no, it's cool. And then they have little like community parks for us too, that if you are, um, if you live in celebration, you get issued an ID card so you can go to certain parks, things like that. Every Sunday, there's a farmer's market that you can go to. Um, and then they also have like a cafe and things um, like that. And there's a lake. I've seen gators over there a lot, all the time, honestly. Oh, I saw that in one of your up. videos recently. I was <laughs> yeah. like, oh my God. And, and it just blows my mind. I'm like, what in the world? Like, it's like seeing a squirrel um, over here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it, really, yeah it really is. <laughs> and it's so weird. You know, I'm just like, you know, and again, I'm from Washington State. The most wild thing you see there is a raccoon. So, like, <laughs> you know, to go from a raccoon to seeing a gator is like, uh, to be honest, it's funny because that was a preventative of me from moving here. Um, I remember going, so what do I do if a gator's under my car? That was that was a thing for me. I'm like, I don't want to get my ankles bitten off. Like, you know? <laughs> and I remember talking to the leasing agent. And they're like, sir, that did you hear about? No, I'm not. No, there needs to be. I want my stuff caved in and all that and oh, and man. we put it off for like a year oh, <laughs> and my wow. wife had to convince me like it'll be fine I, so we did it, but I remember there was like a video a couple years back where this guy in florida like gets oh, an yeah. alligator in his like the garbage can garbage can outside and he like oh my God. pulls it up and it, he traps it in like those outside garbage <laughs> cans and i'm like that's just a normal yeah, thing. Yeah, that is so calm about it. it. It's like an everyday thing. Florida, Florida. I just want to say, was it my wife? I see, Florida. Cause I see a pincher <laughs> bug here, and I like I step on it, but I'm a little freaked out, or like a tiny little spider, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I'm not even Imagine. dealing with like like pretty much modern dinosaurs. Like yeah. it's a little crazy. Um, it, yeah. Oh my gosh! Yeah, it's and that and the roaches they don't tell you about when we Ooh, first roaches. moved here. Yeah, we got. You know, we um, we leased a house and it was a it was a five bedroom and we had a pool in the oh backyard and um, it was you know it was pricey it was it was a big house it was it was too big for us to be honest we're like what are we gonna do with all this <laughs> and it it was like it was weird so we moved in our the place wasn't ready yet and so we actually stayed in the um, the Cabana Bay at Universal Studios and oh, uh, that man. was the first place we went we went to Universal Studios we went to the Cabana Bay. And we stayed there for like four days, I want to say, because the place wasn't quite ready. They were behind. And so I was like, oh, man. And um, so then we finally went and they were just like, they were giving us the keys. Like, hey, we just want to let you know, we were, the guys are out there pressure washing your screens for your pool. They did see a roach. We're going to bring people in tomorrow. Um, Don't worry, though. It's okay. I was like, okay. We turn off the lights and woke up. Roaches were all over the place. No. All over the floor. I would it was out. my kids were traumatized. Oh, there was one. Die. There was a roach that was this. I saw one in the kitchen <gasps> no, like this big. No. no. I promise no, you, you. I pro- I couldn't believe oh. And this is a nice place. This was a nice oh. this was not a like I was like, what is happening? And I guess it's a really common thing. Like nobody didn't live there for a little bit. And they didn't oh obviously didn't clean and the people the, the place the people that lived there before must have had probably like five, six roommates. And there's these mm. really there's pillars in our place and there's ledges and I'm just finding chicken bones that they just probably flung up there Whoa. and they're just like drinking beers oh like whatever God. it must have been the bachelor pad or something <laughs> yeah like and that. I had to clean oh my gosh and I and it, I'm not from Florida and I don't have anybody to lean on and go dude I don't want to be here like and so yeah I called them they're like we're so sorry you know and. They were just like, you know, they sent out, it was a whole thing. We ended up staying there, of course, but they, they um, oh my God, that was our, literally our first day in Florida. Oh in my, my gosh. Was, <laughs> so that was, that was not in celebration. Was that just in Orlando? That was in a, it's called a Kissimmee. Well, this, it's funny because celebration is a part of Kissimmee, but it's a little, um, it's, it's about, it's about 20 minutes from where I'm at now. It was a honestly, I, I actually met, it was a very nice neighborhood. We we drove by there actually today before we came here and did a little grocery shopping because oh, my yeah. wife loves that area still. She loves the grocery shop. 
and the houses are huge over there. They have some of the nicest houses. And I, wow. we just, I honestly, it sounds terrible, but they just, we just called it Kissimmee. And I'm probably saying it wrong because people, <laughs> when they hear me say it, they go, oh God, you're not from here, are you? And I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> but um, it, it was nice. And it was, um, it, that's the thing with Florida. You'll notice it's it's up and it's growing. Um, and yeah. even the locals, yeah. you'll hear them say it you know they're like oh i missed the good old days like what when it was just swamp <laughs> you know yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. roaches everywhere like a miss all day. yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> good old days. Neighbor was a the the boat. Was the best. <laughs> <laughs> jasper get the truck you know just like it's, sorry it's getting modernized <laughs> so <laughs> funny it's, so- it's fun within celebration then for anybody that might be like thinking of moving there what I guess you kind of touched on it a little bit already, but like, what are some things that you can do? Like, what is there within the town? Like, are there restaurants yeah. or bars or like theaters? Like, like what, what kind of things do you do on just like a normal yeah. night? Yeah. You know, celebrate for one, honestly, if you're the kind of person that is just like, I'm a, I'm a simple man myself at my <laughs> point in time. And I'm able to simply just walk and observe and sightsee. It's just, the the natural charm like if you like like for instance i remember going to magic kingdom at the crack of dawn just because i wanted to see the sunrise and have my coffee and just take that in that's how i I get that feeling in celebration if i I, when i walk my dogs just you know just looking at my community and just seeing how it's just so well manicured you know and and just taking that in alone just that alone is enough for me for things to do they have trails there's a really cool trail not too far from me and it's pretty lengthy and oh, it's all preserved um swamp and forest in there so it's untouched and it's wow. it's kind of like that's odd to have it right there for us and the community everybody just kind of rides their bikes off through it and then it eventually meets up to where they have that farmer's market i was telling you about mm-hmm. oh, um and then they have things like there's a starbucks and there's like a cafe now like the nightlife i don't think you're gonna be coming in for the nightlife you know there's not like really any bars <laughs> or anything like that. disney springs for that it's, yeah yeah you would have to and disney springs is probably five minutes from me so honestly oh, it's like wow. it's really not so nice yeah it's like five minutes like for me to get to magic kingdom it takes probably maybe four or five minutes and oh. yeah disney springs is just like right there and then um and that and that was a big part of us obviously when we move the celebration to the convenience um so then we could mm-hmm. literally like I work from home and my wife works from home as well. Oh, and so literally nice. I can just hop off work and just be like, okay, you know, um, we made reservations for Animal Kingdom. Let's go ride Kilimanjaro oh. really quick. Oh. Yeah. And Man. we just go do that really nice. quick. And then, yeah, that's and that's really how it's been for me. So when you see a vlog, most of the time it's I just got off work. <laughs> and oh I'm going to the God. park and I'm bringing everybody along. Um, or sometimes, you know, we will go on a day off. Um but for the most part, you know, it's just really running and gunning. I, I, I'm a manager right now at a, um, it's an insurance brokerage and it's yeah. just that alone. It's just my head. It's, it's honestly good to get away and do the vlog and stuff because it's so busy and fast paced where I'm at already. Yeah. So yeah. I'm like, let's go to Disney. I need it. Yeah. You know? it. And, <laughs> and if you're wondering if it gets old, it, it doesn't, for me, it doesn't get old and people go, Oh, your kids probably hate Disney. And my friends would joke, you know, people I work with like, you know, Lorenzo has a, a a, a channel and it's like him going to disney he goes like every day and they just laugh and i'm like <laughs> but i tell him i'm like no my kids like honestly it's funny because we really have a good time whenever we go um and i was That's saying sweet. actually me and my wife we talk about it um i guess maybe too for the fact that we're not on vacation and that rush of we gotta go on splash mountain and we gotta get the space done yeah. and we then we gotta get over here and then we gotta mm-hmm. you know we don't really have that which is nice i'm glad that and you know what I do notice myself doing too is um, like if somebody like for instance um, at the concert we went to, they were giving out those, they had these finger things to flash with the artists when they're singing. And my daughter ended up, I don't know how, with like five of them. And this uh, girl didn't have any. And my daughter, you know, she's just, she sees it all the time and it's like a natural thing. She's generous. And she gave one that, you know what I mean? She didn't oh, go, I want all these for myself. You know what yeah. I mean? It's just like those things where like, you know, she, in her own head, she's like, well, we, we'll probably get another chance. You know, she's not thinking yeah. like if that girl's on vacation, she's probably going to take that home. But like, oh my gosh, I got one of those flashy things. And now when she watches the special, she has a little flashy thing. You know, those oh, moments so. to me are like moments that like, you can't buy that, you know, you can't like just mm-hmm. purchase the little. So those moments yeah. are, you know, but 
it, I, I'm blessed. I'm fortunate to be living the life I'm living. I don't, I pitch myself, but um, trust me, we yeah. work. We, we made it happen. <laughs> That's so awesome. Here. So, you know, being a resident in Celebration, Florida, like the one thing that was very sh shocking to us, and actually, I don't even know if this is still going to go on, right? Like Disney has made some cuts, as you're talking about, but Disney announced their plans to make a, a new Disney community. And now I'm thinking, like, maybe they're not going to put the money into that. I'm not really yeah. sure. But they announced this new community on the West Coast because there's Celebration yeah. over there. But there's a new one on the West Coast called Cotino Story Living by Disney. And it seems like it's going to be – it seems like Disney has the plans to, like, maintain, like, mm -hmm. ownership of that town, unlike Celebration. Um, mm -hmm. But being a resident in a Disney-made town, what are your thoughts on, like, Disney creating more towns and communities? Because before they – like, before every company was doing these layoffs and, like, changing their plans and all this stuff, it felt like Disney was going to be, hey, here's, like – one in Palm Springs area, like mm -hmm. a Disney community. Mm -hmm. And we're going to probably make some more communities like all across the, you know, the country and stuff like that. But um, being in a Disney made community, obviously like Disney doesn't own it anymore, but what are your thoughts on them making more? Because I know, like you said earlier, you could tell the level of detail within that town. Like it does feel like it was actually made by Disney. Like it, you know, mm -hmm. you see those little touches where even a Seven Eleven is is kind of beautiful <laughs> in a way. Like, I'm just curious your thoughts yeah, on like true. them creating more. Um, yeah, it, it's just such an interesting. Yeah. Thought. You know, I mean, honestly, me, I'm obviously going to say I think I think it's great. Obviously, it depends on your pocketbook. You know, if you can afford <laughs> to live there, then great. I got to tell you, if Disney wants to do it, they're going to do it. Um, yeah. they're not really the company that stands by and waits for people. Are, you know, they're kind of the people that have always been the leaders. Um, any, anybody will tell you no matter how much hate Disney gets, a lot of people do look to them, um, for an example. Um, and that is because of the attention to detail and that is because of the customer service. Um, when you go yeah. to the parks, you're not going even just for the experience. You're also going for the manicure effect. Yes. Uh, you mm -hmm. look at the grass, it's trimmed. You, Oof, you, yeah. when you watch later, the tramp, you don't, just look at the dogs. You look at the houses. You look at oh, the picket goodness. fence. You look at the crown molding inside of the house. You look at the yeah. way that the paint looks. You say, oh, I like the way that salmon is. You don't see that too often. But when yeah. you come to a place like Celebration, you see those things. And, uh, you know, even people will come here that don't live here. And I see it all the time because I live here. They'll walk around, you know, just to take in the sights. Um, and awesome. rightfully so. It's a beautiful place. I don't have, you know, I think... Uh, it's it, they have things like libraries and post offices. The post office here is the craziest looking post office. I saw dad. that on YouTube. <laughs> you know, like, man, that looks awesome. <laughs> uh, when I ship packages to friends or if I sell something, I, I go to the post office every time and I just want to film it for no reason. Yes. I don't even know. I don't even. I'm just like I need to film that. I don't know what I'm going <laughs> to use that for because <laughs> it's so different. But I, I tell you, like living in a community, and the thing too is. You know, living in celebration, you know, it, it is pricey, but it also is a safe neighborhood. Um, it depends, like, if you if you want to live in the suburbs. Like, for instance, I'm, I live, I'm from Washington State, and a suburb to me that would equate to this is, like, Bellevue, Washington. And you guys might not be familiar with it, but Bellevue is just stunning. I think, actually, it's the number one place to live in the United States right now. Oh, uh, right wow. Number one. Um, or it's, it's up there. But it, it, it's stunning. It's beautiful. You go to the malls, everything. Um, and that was kind of my whole thing. I, my, ideally when I first moved here, I was actually supposed to move to celebration, but the place that I wanted w wasn't ready in time. And I was staying yeah. with family in New York. And to be honest, it was getting crowded. And I was like, I'm, I'm ready to have my own place. Now. <laughs> so <laughs> I, uh, I looked up a house and I ended up taking over a house. Um, but I, 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 I was wanting to live in a condo because I like the way the condos are over in celebration. They're just, Stunning. And I want everything. I want somebody to take pamper me. I want to live. I wanted to literally feel like I'm on an extended vacation when I, when I lived here. Oh, so I wanted so to live in the most bougie place. You know, I was like, <laughs> yes. I want the place Might where well. they pick up my trash outside. I want waterfalls <laughs> in my pool. <laughs> I want to feel like I'm on a Disney. And, uh, and, I've, and I've, we've made friends with people here too. There's one, um, I think she's in corporate for Disney. We don't even know. We just became friends with her because we went to the Star Wars May the Fourth event, and we bumped into her at the churro stand. And I was in the elevator, and I was like, "Churro girl!" And she was like, "Oh my gosh, how do I know you?" And I was like, "I bumped into you at um, Galaxy's Edge." And then 
um, we started following each other on Instagram, and then I was like, <laughs> I found out she works for like corporate Disney, and it's oh like there's a lot God. of people in corporate that live where I'm at that work for Disney. I see them getting in their cars, and you see like the Disney badge. Or you'll see people oh. that work at Galaxy's Edge work here or live here because they have obviously like studios and one bedrooms. Um, we have a, a two bedroom. It's almost like a three bedroom. Um, there's a, an area that I could turn into one, but it's just this open spot. And it, it's big. And that's that's the thing. Like I said, you pay for what you get. Um, yeah. Like I, I I feel like we're in a house on the third floor. It's it's nice. It's, it's pretty cool. And then the community right now, everybody has Christmas lights all over in our yes. community, like in our, in our, uh, on all the condos. And so everybody's decks are all, and everybody goes all out on their porches. People have animatronics <laughs> right in front of their doors. And oh my wife my is just God. always just like, gosh, you could literally just walk through the, the condos and just um, literally have an experience. I feel like you're still at, you know, cause it's at, it's on celebration. So it's, it's pretty, it's fun. That's it's awesome. So cool. You're talking about all the, uh, the Christmas decorations up and you're wearing that amazing christmas sweater i'm like i'm so glad you brought that out for the show it's uh it's amazing i had to i had to (laughs) this is gonna be so this sweater is gonna be my event see i still got the tag on you see that that's how you know it (laughs) (laughs) that's how you know i ripped it out for you guys you can't make that up oh uh, man that's uh, awesome no i wanted to make this kind of like my uh my memorabilia sweater I, I love it. Um, but before we before we sign off, because this has just been the most amazing thing ever, we're going to do a little quick fire round of Cuckoo Culture's favorites. And so we, okay. we have a couple here. Curious what your favorite ride is. Ooh. I, I'm, I'm going to be able to answer pretty quick. Yeah, right now I have Rides of the Resistance. Oh, okay. Mm, yep. Good. Good yep. choice. It's, there's nothing. Rise like of the Resistance. Um <laughs> And and honestly, that ride system, the way they incorporated the fact you stand in line, the transportation oh itself is a yes. ride. Then you get off, and then you have all the stormtroopers there for the first order, and then you see the Tie Fighter flying past the screen, uh, and the ground with the black tiles, and you're walking through, and the the cast members are in character, and the suits are on point. And then the ride is fun, and then you get a drop. You see a life size ATAT. I mean, dude, yeah, rise of the resistance. Immersion to the finest. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you yeah. can't beat it. Yeah, There's nothing like I it. Love that. Right under that is Radiator Racer Springs for me. So it's rise of the resistance, oh, yeah. the Radiator yes. Racer Springs, yep. and it then is. Indiana Jones Temple of Doom. That's my for my <laughs> boom 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 for me. Oh yeah, I yeah, that. yeah. That, I'm pretty good choices. Yeah, good choices. Good. Um, what's your favorite park? Oh, uh, okay. So in Florida, or there. <laughs> in, in Florida, it's Hollywood Studios for me. Nice. And then yeah. in California, it's Disneyland. It has to be Disneyland. I mean, the yeah. fact that every time you leave the park, the flame in the fire station where Walt Disney, the man himself, slept, it's still there. Yeah. Um, he rode in those little fire engines around the park. Um. Disneyland is always going to be overall number one altogether, just just because like it's nostalgic. I mean, you yeah. know, and mm-hmm. it is my first park, and it's where I went as a as a kid. And um, I remember going on the Matterhorn as a kid, and it's not the craziest roller coaster; it's bumpy as heck. If you have a crick in your neck, <laughs> you might want to ride that. But uh, <laughs> something about knowing Walt Disney went on that ride, and yeah. something about knowing that there was a basketball hoop at the top at one point. Yeah, people mm-hmm. play basketball up there. There's just so many little weird conspiracies within Disneyland that <laughs> makes yeah. it extra. You know, it's like their Club Thirty Three is Club Thirty Three. You know, yeah. like, yeah. it's oh just my gosh. <laughs> yeah. So I would say overall, it would have to be Disneyland. Ooh, right. I, oh, I love good that. Choice. Yeah, that's 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 choice. good hearing from someone from Disney World too, because like, I there's so much division between like Disneyland people and Disney World people, mm-hmm. but we've just come to the fact, or just come to the realization that every single park has something special about it, mm-hmm. and like. We yeah. were one of those Disneyland purists for a while where we're like, Disney World will never compete. Then we went to Disney World and just experienced all that it had to offer. And we're like, this is so amazing. Yeah. So just coming to the point where we could be like, oh, yeah, just like this park does this are. one thing better, but the other yeah. you know, side of the country does this better. And um, and I love hearing that. It's so great. Mm-hmm. But um, last up here, favorite movie. 
<laughs> oh, Disney gosh. movie. Favorite I mean, movie. You know, yeah. we're Disney, Disney movie. Yeah. Disney oh movie. man. You have a lot of choices. Oh my gosh. You know what? <laughs> Honestly, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna stay at Raph Top. Peter Pan. Peter mm-hmm. Pan is my favorite Disney movie. The yep. music. Um, just the way everything, the surrounding. I want to live there. I almost want to be oh, yeah, such an old soul. You know, I just yeah. want to be one of the pirates on the ship or something, or just a, <laughs> yeah. just a modest fisherman, just a part of the action. You know, <laughs> it's just such a charming time. Um, I yes. even like Peter Pan too, which doesn't get love. I just, I don't know yeah, if it's because of the she way it is. Too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, that that animation they did on uh, uh, Captain Hook, which is uh, one of my favorite villains, is he he. It just it, I was just like, whoa, whoa, whoa! This isn't getting the attention it deserves, you know. I thought Peter yeah. Pan two was pretty good, and it, it got real in the beginning when they were showing the war and stuff. I remember, yeah. just being like, oh my gosh, yeah, yeah, um, it does. And the, that the last ending, final yeah. scene gets me every time. Where With like, older when yeah. when Wendy's older, oh my gosh, oh. it kills me. Yeah, it's so sweet it, and sad. <laughs> And I would I would watch that movie with my the original with my mom. You know, we'd always have movie night, and my mom mm-hmm. was one of those where she put on a classic Disney film. Or we we'd watch I Love Lucy. I remember oh, yeah. watching um, the Ugly Dotson. I don't know if you guys know what the Ugly Dotson is. Dotson, um, I don't think I know that one. You, that's a Disney flick. You should check oh, that. It's an gosh. original. Oh, it's um, Winna Vista, made by Winna Vista Films. Wow. Back when that was like a major production when they did Winna Vista Films. So they did like those random, like, that was like, so right now in our era for live action, I would say we have like Marvel or, you know, obviously Star Wars. But yeah. back then for their live action to experiment, to get the more adult audience, they had Winna Vista. Um, and they did like films like The Ugly Dotson, which you should check out. It's such a funny, funny movie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's a guy, he has a, he has a big dog and then his um his wife has Dotsons and they go to dog shows, but he wants a big dog and the Dotsons <laughs> keep making him look bad and it's just you guys oh, have to check it out. It's so really funny. funny. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, is it on Disney, Plus, on Disney Plus? Yeah, I'm wondering if it's on there. It is, it is. Oh, and I'm telling yeah. you right now, it is such a charming movie. It ha it's it has every <gasps> bit of the Disney uh charm in it. It's literally like saying almost like the Lady and the Tramp come to life, but not it I don't know. Just watch it. Check it out. It's it's really good. Yeah, totally. Well, it's very charming. we'll let you know when we do. <laughs> so great. Well, yeah. hey, Lorenzo, man, this has been such an awesome time having you on our show. Yes, before we man. before we end, is there anything new coming up for you in Kuka culture? And then also, where can our listeners find you? Yeah, so um, I have quite a bit. I'm going to the Mickey's Very Merry Christmas on the 20th of December. Um, so I plan on probably releasing that episode on Christmas Day. And then I do have that event where I did um, go to, you know, see the filming for the um, the Disney Plus, Hulu, ABC special. I have some of the concerts that I did film. Um, I, I'll probably be putting out a couple of those. I'm, I'm kind of iffy because I, I don't honestly know I'm on a thin line there. But I think I might <laughs> pull out a test of water so you guys could check them out. Yeah. Um, yeah and yeah and then i got the um the blog where I, I got this bad boy well this is a part of it um so i got the blog <laughs> that and then um you can find me on instagram obviously youtube i just started a twitch and this is really nice. random i have a twitter but i don't ever get on my twitter it's just there in case <laughs> one day yeah boy makes it's it big. But, uh, yeah. yeah i feel like that's that. most of yeah. us with twitter i feel like i have a very old account that i last tweet was probably like 10 years ago i don't even <laughs> have one i've never had i don't even think i've ever sent out a tweet i just have it in case like the channel were to propel and then all of a sudden somebody's like oh i'm gonna take that in food culture and i'm like no <laughs> <laughs> so it's oh, just there for safekeeping right, yeah, no. so no yeah <laughs> yeah that's so, so awesome that's yeah actually i actually what worked I there for a while and i was like before you could pay for a blue check mark i would have just like given you a blue check mark if mm-hmm. i had worked there still but uh but you now you can there? just. I worked there in 2016? Yeah, it was like 2015 or 16. Little way back no in the day. No kidding. Um, it was on wow. a contract for a very short time, but I was like, if I still have the goods, you know, to uh, just boost your <laughs> boost your page, you know, that I think I was able to do that. But, uh, <laughs> but I would have liked to uh, to help people out where they get. Oh <laughs> man, that is so fun. I did not know that. Oh man. Well, yeah. Hey, you know yeah. what? Um, I'm sure you still have your insight and you have your, 
you got your people on the inside, I'm sure. I, yeah. I all my Maybe, people are know. gone, so definitely, <laughs> definitely not. Anyway. Mark Zuckerberg got fired. House. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. they, they're no longer. There's no longer um, a Facebook or whatever. Yeah. Oh, so he did the on Twitter. Never mind. It's a whole other thing. It's uh, meta. But yeah, no, we're yeah, meta, topic yeah. <laughs> Oh, but man, Cuban uh, culture, Lorenzo, you have just been amazing. I am so, so excited. Nah to just see all the new content that you have out soon because it sounds like you got some amazing stuff but to our listeners who you know following us whether you're on instagram spotify youtube whatever you know i'm sure that you have a youtube channel uh go find cuckoo culture on youtube and then also find him on instagram and hit him up because he just has the best content and you make us so happy your content just makes us feel all the magic Disney vibes. And so totally. we're just so thankful that you Thank were able you so to come much. on our show. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Great. Thank you guys so much. I'm blushing through the beard. Um, you guys are <laughs> awesome as well. I, I literally, I play you guys whenever like I have, I want to make sure that I am paying attention because I genuinely love hearing what you guys have to say. You have such a good outlook on stuff and I love you guys' <laughs> vibe. So I'm really honestly glad to be a part of the show. I wouldn't even mind making this like a, maybe like a every month type of thing or getting us together, just touch base uh, more often. Cause uh, yeah, after this, we're, we're friends now after this, that's official. Oh, yeah, I'm so man. glad to join the show and thank you for having me. Really. It's been a lot of fun. Of, of course. course. Thanks and it again. is probably yeah. like 1am your time. So you're probably ready to get some rest <laughs> it, at this point. <laughs> no, it's, it's okay. I, I definitely planned for this. I kind of had an idea what this night would be. You know, I, I don't get up in age, but you know, I, I still got a little, you know, a little left in me. So it's okay. <laughs> hey, nice. Thank you well, again awesome. so much though. It's yeah. been so fun. So fun. Yeah, no, of Thanks, course. Lorenzo. Thank you guys for having me. It's been fun. See ya. You Bye. too. Bye-bye, guys. All right. Thanks again to Lorenzo from Cuckoo Culture for joining our show. We had such a great time. Um, so he's fun. just been a, a real one ever since the beginning, ever since we started chatting with him. Yeah. And um, like we've mentioned earlier before he even joined, amazing content, amazing YouTube channel. Go check him out at Cuckoo Culture and on Instagram at Cuckoo Culture, I believe, as well. Yeah. Um, Lorenzo? You are the best, and your beard is the best as well. Um, I was going to ask <laughs> what impressive. beard oil you use because that thing I, I need to get on that level. Um, <laughs> and if you don't, if you're listening to the audio on like a podcasting platform, not watching on YouTube, just go, just go, just go look it up. You're going to be very impressed. Um, <laughs> not only is an amazing person, but he is an amazing uh, beard grower, beard beholder. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But anyways, thank you again for coming on our show. It means so much to us. We had such a blast and we can't wait to talk again soon and hopefully meet up in person. It'd be great. I want to meet all these people in the Disney community that we've we've linked up with. But anyways, thank you guys for listening to our podcast. It really means so much with that support. And we will see you guys next week. See you then. Bye. Bye, guys.